A pregnant patient comes into your office for a prenatal visit and complains of lower extremity swelling, and she says that her cheeks appear to have darkened. What are you to tell this patient? Pregnancy leads to a variety of physiologic changes, and it's your responsibility to be aware of them and to explain to the patient what they are to expect. In this lecture, we will be able to understand why a pregnant patient undergoes these changes and to identify some of the most important physiologic changes in pregnancy. There are many changes that a patient undergoes during their pregnancy and you need to be familiar with them. These physiologic adaptations are designed to help nurture the developing fetus and to prepare the mother for labor. It is the product of an increase in gestational hormones and the mechanical effects of a gravid uterus. First up, we have the cardiovascular effects of pregnancy. So the first thing to know is that mom is going to have a huge increase in her fluid volume, typically a 50% increase. With greater preload, we have a bigger stroke volume and a greater cardiac output. Remember, we're perfusing for two now, and that placenta needs to be nourished. On top of the extra fluid, there's going to be a decrease in afterload so that the heart is able to circulate all of that extra volume. With this volume expansion, we should also anticipate a natural hemodilution. So the patient's hemoglobin and hematocrit will be lowered. Another result of this fluid is peripheral edema due to a combination of the relative decrease in intravascular oncotic pressures and gravity. The endocrine system has a variety of changes, including an insulin resistance and hypoglycemia. If you recall from the human placenta lactogen lecture, the insulin resistance in the pregnant patient is designed so that glucose and proteins can be utilized by the growing fetus. So the patient utilizes lipolysis in order to increase fat utilization for their fuel source. We also end up with elevated levels of thyroid binding globulin, corticosteroid binding globulin, and sex hormone binding globulin. The patient will also have pituitary enlargement as a response to the increase in hormone production. In regards to the GI system, we're going to see our patients complaining of fullness as pregnancy causes a decrease in GI motility, lower esophageal sphincter tone, and gallbladder contraction. These can all lead to constipation, GERD, and gallstones. Like we discussed in cardiac changes, we're going to see a natural dilutional anemia. We have an increase in both RBCs and plasma volume, but plasma increases proportionally more than the RBCs. Pregnant patients also enter a hypercoagulable state thanks to huge increases in fibrinogen levels. This physiological adaptation is a mechanism to prevent postpartum bleeding. Iron and folate deficiency anemias may also be present as a result of increased nutritional requirements. From the musculoskeletal system, the patient will experience lordosis in an effort to realign their center of gravity. They will also develop laxity in the joints of the pelvis to help facilitate field descent. Skin manifestations include hyperpigmentation in a variety of locations due to an increase in the melanocyte-stimulating hormone during pregnancy. Areas include the nipples, which exhibit areolar darkening, melasma, which is skin darkening of the face, especially the cheeks, and linea nigra, which is a brown streak that runs vertically across the abdomen. There is also likely to be stretch marks, known as striae gravidarum. And there may also be superficial vascular changes, such as spider angiomas, palmar erythema, and varicosities. The renal system is going to experience an increase in renal plasma flow and GFR due to vasodilation. This is going to lead to a decrease in BUN and creatinine. Some mild glucosuria and proteinuria are common. 
and there is a dilation of the ureters and renal pelvis, which predisposes the women to pyelonephritis. The respiratory drive in a pregnant patient is elevated so that she is in a chronic mode of hyperventilation. This is in an effort to blow off the fetus's CO2 as well as her own. All right, flash quiz. Can you name some of the dermatologic phenomenon during pregnancy? I would have accepted any of the following. Melasma, linea nigra, areolar darkening, palmar erythema, spider angiomas, striae gravidarum, or varicosities. In this video, we learn that there are a variety of physiologic changes in pregnancy which a patient will undergo as a physiologic mechanism to better facilitate fetal growth and delivery. And these changes range from an increased fluid volume to hormone level increases to skin pigmentation alterations. Thanks for watching, and be sure to click thumbs up if you enjoyed this video.